Hi, it's my Desrena. I'm a student in Africa University, English department. And now I'm going to present you two of the ancient mosques in Tripoli. First one is Shaibalan Mosque. Shaibalan is considered as one of the ancient and oldest mosques in Tripoli's old city. And although it isn't one of the luxurious or the sophisticated and magnificent in construction and decoration, but its greatest advantage in its simplicity and the status on the religious on it. Actually, the construction date of the mosque dates back to the period when Muhammad Basha assumed the mandate of Tripoli in 1098 to 1112. And now to the architectural form of the mosque. The mosque is large in size so that it overlooks the surrounding district from its three sides and has four doors. The most important of which are the main door and the side door, both of them lead to the Turkish market. The mosque's prayer house includes nine columns that appear in their overall appearance of consistent size. Crowned with the crowns with theft colors and decorations, since all columns covered with paint, covered from the top to base. It is difficult to determine the origin of its stones. And between the pillar and the other circular arches are raised cavities of the mosque stones, numbering 10 dome and the mosque has an upper block for the women's overlooks house of a prayer on one side. And there isn't a noticeable motifs except for the noble verses that were engraved with various lines on the front of the mirror. Are those inscriptions that interior sees to it above the entrance to the prayer house overlooking the Turkish market and exactly on the road of its door? And the door is considered only an Islamic piece of art that witnesses the ingenuity of the hands that it accomplished. And also, it was named with this name attributed to Muhammad Basha Shaibahan, who ordered its construction. Naga Mosque. This mosque, known as one of the ancient mosques in the old city of Tripoli, and one of the oldest mosques in North Africa. They said this mosque was built during the days of Muhammadin al al Fatimi when he passed through Tripoli on his way to Cairo after the mid 10th century. At Tijani, indicated when he visited Tripoli between 1306 and 1308. This mosque was associated with the story of the loaded camel that was donated by the Khalifa Muhammadin al al Fatimi or his leader Johar Sukuli 
to the people of Medina to build this mosque. They also said that this mosque was reconstructed in 1019 and 1610 by Safardai. It is also located in the South Asturian region of the old city near Dafnetka Square in the narrow alley branching from it and adjacent to both Al Ghadamsi Hotel and Hawas Hotel and close to the Ahmed Basha Al Karamali Mosque. This mosque is a square in shape, also not large. And the courtyard is almost equal to the space of the prayer house. And it has three doors. Two of them are main ones, the interior of which enters from the head to where the prayer is held. And the third is independent, but it decided to its own evolution. And the prayer house is based on 35 heterogeneous columns of shapes, size and colors. One does not need any evidence to guide them. That these marble columns are a relic of Roman cities. And also in the World War II, this corner had been completely destroyed.